Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Batgirl issue 37, Oracle Rising Part 1, written by Cecil Castellucci and drawn by Carmine Di Gian Domenico. Hopefully I pronounced that right, it sounded pretty good. We're going to go with that. So a new creative team on Batgirl, and we are kicking off with the year of the villain, The Offer, in a pretty solid first issue here. Some cool, cool stuff. Got Batgirl fighting a killer moth that you can see on the cover here, and the terrible trio uh, with a new shark character, oddly enough, uh, running into, running afoul of a new villain character who then at the end gets the offer from Lex Luthor. So let's go through this book. This, like I said, it's a pretty solid kickoff to this new uh, story arc. All right, so we got the terrible trio wandering through the mountains here. It says deep in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and they are going to this uh, bunker you see uh, right here. And first off, I got to comment on the art. I really love this, this art style. Hopefully I can get that to focus. There we go. Uh, to me, it just got a great, great feel to it, especially some of these first uh, couple pages here with the terrible trio in these uh, suits going through this bunker. It's got kind of a... Uh, 50s to 60s sci-fi feel, and it also kind of has this uh, this refined rawness to it. I don't know if I could explain it better than that, but I really like the pencil work, and I I, I really enjoy this. Um, I loved Paul Petlier's stuff when uh, previously, but this is this is pretty great. So they're going through this bunker, just looking for stuff to steal and to sell. And they they make uh, mention of the, uh, the, the that shark is a new guy, um, like aren't you like someone's second cousin or something like that? Um, because shark died in the previous issue in a warehouse fire, so they punch through into a locked door and they find this some sort of a cybernetic robot woman thing going on, and it activates and it keeps asking for the password. And they're basically scrambling, trying to figure out what the password is. Oh, it's like, oh, check for post-it notes or just guess 000, things like that. Pretty funny to watch them scramble. Then we go at catch up with Batgirl, and she is chasing and fighting at Killer Moth through uh, Burnside or Gotham. Downtown Gotham, there we go. Um, I don't think I've ever read a book with Killer Moth before, but... Man, that character design, a pink moth, it's like, I'm not really supposed to take this bad guy seriously, am I? And that's essentially what Barbara Gordon thinks uh, of him as well. It's like, oh, I've taken this guy down before, but as she fights him, it turns out that he has, he says here, he put um, his like entire life savings into upgrading his tools and like every time she thinks he has uh, she thinks he has him down for the count he pulls out another uh, toy another gadget the new weapon something like that very Batman like right so like first off um, his armor absorbs kinetic energy then he shoots these grappling uh, bolos at her that are heat seeking that wrap around her and she keeps um, coming up with ways around it but she's like running out of tools like she even uh throws these batarangs at him and, and reminds herself like hey uh, i gotta go pick those up when this fight's over because those are my last batarangs which is which is pretty pretty damn funny right um then we go see uh jason bard and izzy uh two of barbara's co-workers and they were expecting babs to go meet them at a bar for a band or for a concert babs is a little busy with killer moss so she doesn't show up but who does show up is bia or b who is if you're reading nightwing is uh, i think rick grayson's main love interest and he was actually supposed to come to this show as well uh, but he didn't uh, i was reading nightwing but i quit reading it Maybe a year ago at this point, um, it was just it's a ter it's in a terrible place right now. I couldn't stomach reading it. Um, if you guys, if anyone out there is still reading Nightwing, let me know what you're thinking about it right now because I'm just kind of waiting until a new creative team hits it and they kind of hit that big old reset button on Dick Grayson because I'm not having this Rick Grayson stuff. So um, throughout this conversation, Jason Bard basically has to admit to himself that he does indeed have feeling have has feelings. 
he does indeed have feelings for Barbara Gordon, and he does not want to admit that to himself. Uh, so we go, we get some more uh, fighting with uh, Killer Moth here. Great stuff. He's getting always getting the upper hand on her. He's got all kinds of toys. Where does he get those wonderful toys, as Jack Nicholson Joker would say? Um, then she ends up like falling through uh, the ground that after he broke it open, and he says, uh, "Have a nice death," which is a great, great villain line. Uh, from there, we go back to the terrible trio trying to figure out what the password is uh, and having absolutely no luck. And that's when one of Lex Luthor's uh, batteries not included drones shows up and um, says uh, what the he says, uh, hello, you magnificent thing. I'm Lex Luthor. I'm here to give you life, to give you a gift. I have the password you're looking for. It's your name then the robot asks what is my name and he says oracle which is really really cool so diving into the history of batgirl of uh, barbara gordon batgirl where she was the character oracle for a long time when she was paralyzed from the events of the killing joke she served as the uh, person behind the computer get, gathering information and doing all that kind of work for all of the uh, the bat teams and some other heroes there so it seems like someone built an artificial intelligence along with a robot body to put that into and named it oracle and that is going to be our new villain going forward it's very very cool it reminds Reminds me of um, the character Danger from, I believe, the second arc in, uh, second or third arc in Joss Whedon and John Cassidy's Astonishing X Men from the mid 2000s, where the Danger Room gained sentience and attacked the X Men. Really cool story arc. But that is, that kind of reminds me of, um, of or this kind of reminds me of that. Very curious to see what they do with this new oracle character new um oracle sentience uh going forward very very cool stuff like i said solid first issue for this new uh story arc guys what do you think about this do you like killer moth uh what is your killer moth uh recommended reading if you have any let me know all of that down in in the comments down below thank you so much for watching if this is your first time here at the channel hit that subscribe button for me it would mean a lot and until next time we'll see you at the comic shop